My name's Chaz Wood. I'm chairman of the smallest football league in the world. That's the Isles of Scilly Football League. We just have two teams. Uh, this, I think, is the Woolpack uh, Wanderers and this is the Garrison Gunners. How correct that is, I'm not sure. <laughs> we play 16 league games and we have two cups. One of those is a two-legged affair, but uh, away goals don't count double because um, we've only got one pitch. And the first game of the season is the Charity Shield, where last year's league winners play last year's cup winners. And if the same side won both, they play the runners-up. Paul here, um, he works in the kitchen in one of the local hotels. And he's not here all through the season, but when he's here, he plays. I work as a kitchen assistant. I play for the Woolpah Wanderers. We've got Andy, Andy Hicks, who's uh, a boat builder. He's been playing the game, I think, ever since he's been old enough to play. And um, plays up front, scores a lot of goals for us. I play football for the Woolpack Wanderers, but I must admit I'd prefer to play for the Garrison Gunners, having won the league title, I think, twice more than the Woolpack Wanderers. And then you've got Jim, the goalkeeper. I'm an airport firefighter at St Mary's Airport and baggage handler. I play in goal oh, for the Woolpack Wanderers. Rubbish. Yeah, whatever, Steve. There's no flights today, as you can see, the fog is down on us. Um, we've got no passengers coming in, no passengers going out, and no fires to put out either. And um, Chris? Uh, known as Spider. He works at one of the local hotels, but he's also a taxi driver. Uh, he plays in midfield usually, uh, but occasionally you're playing goal for us. There's a lot of, uh, it can be, you know, not punch-ups, but certainly really close physical stuff, you know, and not as bad as some of the professionals on the football pitch, that's for sure. <laughs> not as good, neither. <laughs> Beginning of the season, we know how many, how many people are going to play football. So we pick a couple of captains. The two captains, they go in the pub and they select um, each team and try and balance it out. It does get frustrating playing against the same men week in, week out, but they know exactly what you're going to do and you know what they're going to do. So finding new ways of beating the man is a challenge. There's a funny thing uh, going on with the referees because one's called Dave uh, Grotick and the other one's called Dave Crotick. I'm David Grotick and I'm one of the two football referees here on the islands. The kids here are very eager to learn. We've got some good youngsters coming through, and um, yeah, we're grateful for the fact that we've got youngsters coming through as well, because it means the Isles of Scilly Football League hopefully will continue. Hi, my name's Lewis Brown. I'm age 13. I play goalkeeper, and I play on Saturdays and Sundays. And he's got really crazy hair. No, you don't have to be a bit crazy. You just, if you want to be a goalkeeper, you should be a goalkeeper. Yeah, Jack Stone's a good player, he's coming through, his brother also. Usually we play football up the garrison on Saturday at half one. And another guy is uh, Jeremy Martin. I'm a striker, so I'm a goal poacher. And Joe, he's really fast. It's great fun, uh, there's only a few of us, but we all are friends. And my other friend is Lee Eaton, who is a Derby fan who... He puts some nice balls in. Has a lot of tricks. Um, my little brothers, Sam Eaton, to good. He plays up front mostly. I love football. You see me in the street playing football all the time, so I'm kicking the ball against my cab. But, you know, <laughs> that's, that's what I used to do when I was a kid. And whilst they've got a lot of very enthusiastic support, they could do with an influx of new ideas, fresh coaching, 